I'm Dave Simmons, the uh, local thatcher to Chidick for the last 50 years and uh, I grow my own thatching reeds um, to furnish the roofs in the local area. We have always farmed in a traditional way because the end product that we're trying to grow is thatching reed. We don't use a lot of chemicals or uh, fertilizers and consequently the wildlife and the hedges and the margins all benefit in my mind from that. This land at Doghouse was farmed traditionally, it's always been arable and it's always been nearly always a plough base cultivations and uh, right out to the hedge, right up to the fence, every last square inch of uh, field was tried to make available. And the other thing that was very noticeable to me when I started cultivating, the soil had absolutely no structure. Um, it was just one pass with a machine and it was down to talcum powder with no fibre and no nothing in it. So I knew that uh, it's going to need a lot of uh, building up. The first thing I did to it uh, was that there's three and six and uh, nine metre margins around every field now. Some are wild meadow, some are uh, nectar pollen, and that was on the National Trust suggestion that we tried to make corridors for wildlife. The land was just bare land, it's, it's dirt, it's not soil. And it's going to take a year or two to turn it back into soil. The, the previous people did nothing wrong, they just did it as, as everybody across the country is doing, you know. They, they ploughed it, cultivated it, sprayed it to death, fertilised it to death and took a maximum crop to feed as many people as they could per acre. Uh, I am moving to a no-till for the whole 170 acres I farm. I mean, the National Trust land is only just a small percentage of that. And there's lots of reasons. Uh, the, the soil is running out the gates when it rains uh, through constant sort of min till and other methods. Um, it's also economics. A, a, a 20,000 pound drill is only one pass, it's a third less diesel used in, in all the whole operations. It's a, put a whole different mindset to me because I have to think about using cover crops for fertility. All the thatch that we grow uh, is used locally, very little of it does much more than a couple of three miles from the farm. And most of our work is close. We are doing more as the years go by for the trust. Originally we were just a golden, uh, golden cap estate, uh, but uh, because of the product we grow and our link with the trust, we are now doing uh, a percentage of work at the Killerton estate. All my working life, it's been given me the most pleasure to produce something and to see it right through to the end. And when it goes on to a historic building or uh, a building that with a lot of character in, that is just that little buncy because it could end up on a traditional cottage or it could end up on somewhere like Woodsford Castle at Dorchester. I have got a good memory, so if I go 30 years back, I can t tell people the field that their roof came from. And that gives me even more satisfaction to know that this is going to last 25, 30 years, fingers crossed, seeing something I've produced, been responsible for a whole year, finished all pristine and looking really nice, and doing a good job keeping the water out. <laughs>